So maybe first you have to understand the Swiss system. And the, when you ask about the democracy, then uh, this depends a lot on the characteristic of the political system. And it also depends on the history, where you come from, how has this system evolved? And I think, uh, I mean, a, a political system is always dynamic. So, so is our Swiss system. Um, our system is, has, I mean, evolved from the very much bottom-up approach where the municipalities would be the first level to decide on political issues. And then it goes up to the cantons and then you have the highest, the national level. So the, the, the sovereign in Switzerland is at the, at the local level. That's where the citizens are the closest to their government, and then it goes up to the national one. Now, um, we, uh, to give you an example, we participate through ballot votes, ballot box votes, uh, like five, six times a year. And we decide on laws um, at local, cantonal, and national level. That means we have to go very often to vote and to give our opinion on different political questions. That makes the decisions that are taken in the end um, quite binding. And everybody understands why this law has been adopted and why not. So uh, this would be the, the, the positive aspects that the people really share um, the decisions that are take, being taken at, at all levels. On the other hand, uh, this is very time consuming. Time consuming in terms of every citizen that votes on these different topics needs to be informed, needs to have an opinion on this. And also it's sometimes very challenging to understand, so why should I be against or in favor of this law? And that makes it very interesting, but at the same time also challenging.